Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Dromeda Kodo. And uh, if you saw my review of the Ominous, you'll know that this is, you know, typically a ground vehicle brand, but they've now gotten into the quadcopter market. And this is their second quad. And this is a little micro camera quad. So this actually has a camera built into it. A pretty unique design. It's got kind of a, a bug look to it. And then it has this exposed frame sort of look that we've only uh, seen in nano quadcopters so far. This is the first micro quadcopter with the exposed frame arms like that. Uh, now some people have you know concerns that that's going to make a little uh, fragile, a little less durable. Uh, which I, I bet is probably the case. I think it is going to be a little bit more fragile than some other uh, quads. But you know, it does have these optional prop guards so you know that may kind of help um and i have heard that the the, the arms can kind of bend but then you can just bend them back in place uh that may you know eventually you know cause them to break or it may be hard to get them exactly straight and if it's kind of crooked then you'll get some weird uh flight effects uh, but, you know, just try to be careful with it. You know, this is a, an aerial video quad, so you are supposed to kind of be, you know, slow and smooth with it. It's not really meant to be bashed around and crashed a lot. Uh, so I, I don't think the fragility is really going to be a, a, a major issue. Uh, but anyway, this comes with absolutely everything you need. I mean, for the price, what this comes with is just really impressive. Uh, this is the transmitter, and it even comes with the batteries for the transmitter. Um, a little bit awkward transmitter. It's kind of, you know, small, but it, it's wide enough that, you know, you've got some good, um, you know, your hands kind of fit around it well. You can even, you know, pinch with it fine or thumb flyers. So I haven't found that it's been much of a problem using this, though I did find myself accidentally clicking these buttons on the top just from kind of the way I held the, the transmitter. I'd accidentally click those buttons. Um, I also sometimes found myself accidentally hitting, this is your photo and your video buttons, and I would find myself hitting that video button when I was trying to find the trim buttons. Um, so just kind of, you know, a lot of stuff to kind of cram into the little space. Um, you click down the right stick and then move it in whatever direction to flip, and you click the left stick to change rates, and there are three different rates. And the yaw rate changes with each of the rates, and it is a nice, you know, decent yaw. It's not fast, but it's 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 really good. It it, it matches well. You can do good funnels. Uh, this thing actually flies surprisingly well. Uh, but to continue on with what it comes with, you've also got a 390 milliamp hour battery uh, that takes about an hour to charge. Uh, you get about five minute flights without the prop guards. You get about four and a half minute flights with the prop guards. And there's about a 20 second LVC warning. So you've got a little bit of a warning to get it back to yourself before the battery dies. Um, also comes with a USB charging cable and a two gigabyte micro SD card for the video camera. A USB card reader for that card and also a spare set of props so just everything you need absolutely ready to fly it's got all the stuff for the camera and the card I mean all the way down to batteries for the transmitter uh, so pretty impressive what all you get for the price uh, the camera is just an SD camera it's not HD so don't expect super high quality uh, but, you know, it's plenty decent for just, you know, amateur, you know, fun, you know, just filming your flights and stuff. Um, not anything you're going to want to use for any kind of, you know, professional presentation. Uh, but plenty fine for, you know, your own personal use. Uh, let's see. There are LEDs. It's got LEDs out on the, uh, the motor arms here. So... It's not exactly a night flyer, but it could be done. I flew mine at night just to give it a test, and it was doable. Um, I'm not sure that's exactly you know what I would suggest using it as, though, especially since the camera is not going to really work at night. Um, but it does have nice big motors. Um, I found that this you know it 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 flies it flies very light. A lot of these uh, camera quads kind of feel heavy. Um, they're a little bit, you know, slow on the punch. They kind of feel like tanks in the air. Uh, whereas this just feels really light in the air. It's got plenty of power. It's nimble. 
and it, it just really is a nice flyer for a camera quad. I'm very impressed with how well it flies. So this is actually quite a bit of fun to fly. Um, you know, and one interesting thing, the transmitter can switch between mode two and mode one. Uh, since it's a square, basically, all it does is when you switch it to mode one, you just flip it upside down, and now your throttle is on the right with left and right aileron, and then you've got your elevator and rudder on the left. That's mode one. Uh, so you can switch between the two most popular modes, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I guess that's about all I've got to say about it, so let's take it for a flight, and I'll show you some sample footage from the camera. All right, let's check it out. All right, this is a flight review of the Dramata Kodo. Go ahead and give it a spin and we'll do some video sample. All right. Get it trimmed out here for a second. That's pretty nice and trim. Oops, forgot a light here. So I'm on high rates now, so there's our full pirouettes. Not super fast yaw rate, but manageable uh, but just a really nice flyer just really smooth get some funnel going Whoop. plenty of power you can see it doesn't you know doesn't dog out at all it definitely has the kick needed with all the you know camera extra weight and everything no problem, still flying plenty aggressively. Let's do some flips. Some nice flips, even with the prop guards on. Got something going on with my trim here. Let me land it for a second. Let's try that again. All right, let's uh, start some video. So now it's filming. Oh gosh, that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna make an interesting start to the video. The camera does have a bit of a downward angle to it, so you gotta kind of have to be a little bit above what you're trying to film. I'm not really sure why it's given me trim issues. It's never done that before. It's typically been really nice and stable for me. Let's do a flip on video. Stop the video. Now let's take it in for a landing and look at the LEDs in the dark. Whoop, bad landing. All right, let's turn off some lights. And the LEDs aren't super visible, but I think it is good enough for night flying. A little bit hard to see at certain angles, especially with the prop guards on, they kind of block it. 
but you know you've got the LEDs out on the motor mount so um, you know it's easy to see what's front and back oh there's my LVC LVC in the dark again that keeps happening lately all right turn the lights back on all right well that's the Dramada Kodo uh, I don't know why it was giving me trim issues normally it doesn't do that it's uh, typically been a very nice stable flyer for me uh, I'm actually quite a big fan of it uh, so yeah check the video description for a purchase link and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time